Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration Quest Area 2 and AAI Vehicles. So, I've been a bit buzzy in space. I've made an ice mine. This is nothing special. This is just um, a mining site that digs up water ice. 60 million of it. Um, and it all goes into a chest and then at some point in the train. For now, the train does not exist. Then I have extended the power line and I've made it a little bit more nice for me. <laughs> it's now no longer floating space platforms in space. These are now connected up to the space rail and this should give them the theoretical stability that they need to not be flying around in space. So my immersion is saved. Good. And then um, I've already prepared, uh, because I really didn't want to do that in the video, I've already prepared the laying out and the thinking of our nuclear power plant over here. Now, this thing over here, you know this one, you have seen this one. This is the base part that we have over here. This is the same nuclear power plant. We're going to build the same nuclear power plant. The only difference is going to be in how we lay out the turbines. And that's all that we're going to be doing today. We are going to be thinking about space nuclear power. And that's, I think, the best kind of power. Also, I kind of ran out of um, platforming space over here. I do think we need all of this. Um, and I'm already preparing, and I think it should be ready now. I'm already preparing a rocket to resupply us with more space platform. The heat pipe we forgot. <laughs> um, more space underground pipe, more space pipe, a whole bunch of rocket fuel. And technically... Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm ordering up rocket parts over here, and they're not going in. Um, why is that? I'm ordering them up over here, and they are not in here. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Um, maybe we just need to offset it somehow? There's also this one over here that orders up more stuff. Let's just click on this button real quick. There we go. <laughs> there go the rocket parts. Perfect. Yeah, fill this thing up with some rocket parts so that we can at least fly back home if we need to. And I'm just going to put in at least 80, maybe 100 rocket parts in the air. We might have a couple too many. That's fine. That's fine. The more we have, the better we are. Good. Fill her up, please. Uh, that's 60, 65, about 70. And once we got the rocket parts in here, I'm just going to send this thing. Uh, good. And then this thing already is flipped. Perfect. So we can deactivate you. We can and deactivate you. You got exactly 100 rocket parts. Good. Bring me that stuff, please. And that rocket will be coming over to the landing pad we have placed over here. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I kind of was confused. Why do we have vision over there? It was probably the radar that was just procking that tile right now. Uh, let's fly over there real quick and pick up the stuff that we need, especially uh, the things in terms of scaffolding there we go what <laughs> what happened over here ah <laughs> uh, did we lose some stuff well we got the important stuff the important stuff is fine good bring me all the underground pipes perfect bring me some platform excellent let's deactivate you and let's start thinking and working on the space nuclear power plant now the space nuclear power plant needs water that's why we are mining the water ice but we are also going to be using the condenser turbines and for the condenser turbines i've already seen um a layout over here we can do look at this they fit right in the middle over here so i kind of thought to myself you know what we could do we could just do let's let's give it some space like over here let's do something like this and alternate these there we go there we go. Um, I'm just going to continue that on later on. Then we need an input pipe, an output pipe, uh, an input pipe, and an output pipe. And then we can do this, that, this, and that. And then we can pull this whole thing all the way to the end. And then we have something like this. And how many turbines do we need? Well, that's a good question. Um, it does say that these turbines have less efficiency. So, in my opinion, that means we need the same amount of turbines as we have over here in our original setup. 
which is over here. And since we are combining two of them, I would say we need about 50 turbines. Okay, here we go. 50 turbines. Also, bots on. Here we go. Start placing this, please. Also, over here. Uh, actually, no, this is fine. Let's give you a bit of space. And let's see if we can put in a nice long pipe in there. We can. Perfect. Good. And then we're going to be using these condenser turbines over here. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Um... And we don't have that much platform on us, but it should be fine. We can also start maybe getting rid of all of this rock in here. So the next time we go and pick up some more stuff, we can pick up more stuff. And let's make one wing. And once we have one wing, we can think about how we do the other wings. Good, good, good. You over there. And then... Come on. You over there. And then... Man, these bots really suck at putting down this, play, this scaffolding. Um, how many is this already? This is now 80. <laughs> we need more. Um, it might just be that the power plant will be longer because of this, but we will see. We will see. Okay, everybody in? Everybody in. Can we fly? No. No fuel. We cannot fly, but um, in the new shipment of stuff, we do have... Um, some rocket fuel, so we can use that. Also, you might have seen over here the mine. The mine over here is currently powered off. Um, not quite sure if I'm going to commit to this idea or not, but I kind of thought to myself, let's maybe put in some kind of power system that turns off things that are not needed at the moment, because I'm not quite sure how good power will be in space. And in my personal opinion, if you don't need the thing in space, turn it off. <laughs> we are going full dad mode in here. Like, we're going full... Yeah, do you need that? Nope, turn it off. <laughs> if you leave the room, turn off the lamps, please. <laughs> My dad used to do that in the past. And I can kind of understand them now a bit better. Uh, but it took me a while to really understand <laughs> how how high electricity bills can be. But then again, um, if you know a bit about my occupation, you also know that I don't really care about power because I've got so many servers standing around over here. Good, 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 good. And let's do this. And then let's make a copy of this again. And let's just keep on moving this thing. Okay, my lovely bots, could you please? Did they have a drift to the left, it seems? <laughs> they have a heavy drift to the left. Like, like, to the right? Nah, we're not doing that. Left, sure. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Okay, in theory, that should be the end of the power plant because that is how long the other power plant was. I'm not quite sure if we need to make this longer or shorter, but for now, we're just going to build this thing until the end. Uh, and once we reach the end, then we can check if we need more or less. Are we out? No? Bots are only being lazy. Come on, bots, charge a bit faster. I mean, we can't really check a bit. Um, this is now... 26? We need 50. Yeah, this platform needs to be longer. <laughs> I'm also not quite sure how good the liquids will move in the pipes like this. Um, that's the thing we have to figure out. And looking at the outside pipes, it might be better for us to use for the outside pipes to use maybe these. These might be too long. Um, the five ones. Where's the five ones? I got three and seven on me. I don't have the five ones on me. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> well, technically, we could also do it with three and sevens. But I think the five width ones are the ones we want to have. Uh, for now, we're just going to continue this. We can always re-pick them up with the bots. Here we go. Here we go. And then we are reaching the end of the platform. We're also running out of scaffold. We are actually now out of scaffold. Okay, let's go back and pick up the five with pipe. Because the less pipe we use, the less underground pipe we use, the better. Good. And it also makes the whole thing look a little bit nicer. Uh, nope, that is the mining platform. Sure. Off we go. Here it is. So, what do we need over here? We need um, one more scaffolding. And we need the five white ones. There they are. That should be enough. And then you over there, give me all the scaffolding you can. Well, not the heat pops right now, the scaffolding. Uh, what do we not need right now? The train tracks. 
and we don't need the uh the, the small crafting materials over here there we go then we can pick up some more of these we don't need the robot ports right now and we don't need these right now there we go bring in all the scaffolding please and let's try to make this nuclear power plant ah nuclear power in space love it absolutely love it okay let's have a look over here then if we just take out say these two and we then take the five pipe ha that doesn't work if we take the seven pipe and then the five pipe that works yeah okay let's do that that is less pipe entities and it will help us a little bit more with our flow uh we might also have to be careful on the other side once we put down um the second pipe array we might have some neighbor issues if we do have some neighbor issues then we just move the whole thing up or down by one tile and it should be fine good and they're also all complaining about that my inventory is full yeah, not the best good 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 there we go and then we do the same thing over here now i'll make some space soon here we go. Hook them all up. That'll be fine. There's more stuff for me to be hooked up. There we go. There we, oop. there we go. And there we go. So, um, wait, did we pick up all the bots? So the bots are all over there and they're all complaining about stuff. Uh, let's put this in there for now. There we go. Bots away! Good. Perfect. Okay, let's just wait for the bots to all come in there. Perfect. Now, this is definitely one of those nuclear power plants that will probably not be running at super high capacity. Um, it should not be one of those power plants that can actually run at, at, at maximum performance. Um, we should try to make this power plant as... as maybe, um, maybe we're going to aim for like a 50% capacity power plant. I think that will be fine. I'm also not quite sure how much power we actually do need in space. But a nuclear power plant should be more than enough. And the other reason why we're making a nuclear power plant over here and not a big solar array is, I mean, we're kind of far away from the sun. So the um, solar power uh, efficiency is not the best. I mean, if we take a look at this, where we are, um, solar power efficiency is 189. That, that's still good. Could be better. It's good. There we go. Place this one, please. Good. Okay, let's have a look at this one now. Now we have... 41. So we do need to extend the platform a bit. So let's do that. Let's just make it a little bit longer. That should be fine. And then see what we can place over here. That's a bit more. Um, I should have probably counted. We're now at 46, so we need four more. Exactly like this. Perfect, 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 perfect. So you are the terminal. And then we don't need you. We do not need you. This thing over here, same thing. You are the terminal. So this is going to be one condenser wing of nuclear steam power. Good. That looks fine. That looks really, really fine. Um... Now the question is distances. I think we're going to be fine with the distance because this thing aligns over here with this side. And then we've got a gap of one and then the next side starts. Same over here. So I don't even think we need to be worrying too much about left and right uh, issues. Um, but what we do need to worry about is the water cycle. So uh, we need to be twisting and turning this water. What we also need to do is something like this. You move up by one. Um, do we put in... Yeah, I'm just going to take, take away the pump real quick. Uh, we do need to put in steam like this. Steam like that. Good. The last one over here, we might just want to do like this. There we go. There we go. Good. That is connected. And then water. So water will be coming in from the bottom. We will be recycling our water as much as we can. Um... One pump can supply all of these. Let's also take you out real quick. And, and we 
can move around and you guys real quick because I do want to connect up these ah the tanks in a way. Ah, I was kind of hoping to do something like this, but no, that will not work. So then we need to do something like this. And then the heat pipe is in the way. Ah! <laughs> then again, uh, we've already seen that we want to have a pump over here. So let's just move this whole thing up by one. There we go. And then your pump will be over there. And now it works a little bit better. Because now these are connected and we can swing the water. Um, water wise, we could have one big tank over here with three pumps that supply all of these. I'm kind of thinking about that. Um, hmm. Hmm. We also have the water coming back from over here and the water coming back from over there. We could also maybe have a small tank over here. I don't have any small tanks on me. Mm, do we have a small tank over here somewhere in these over here? No. I'm just going to um, cheese myself a small tank real quick. Um, small, 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 small. Are they over here? Okay, where are they? There they are. One of these, please. I mean, the water will be flowing back. Um, we could place one right over here. Uh, but this one would then need to be filled up by the main line. Now, the main line, we could maybe just make a train station over here. We could just maybe make something else over here. Um, but this one needs to be filled up. I don't really think that's a good idea to put it over there. Hmm. I mean, maybe just also finish up this real quick. There we go. So you go into there. A steam or water is coming back from over there and water is coming back from over there. Um, we could combine them up with one of these. If we just do maybe like this a little bit shorter. And then... Uh, that's the 9-1. I kind of like the 9-1 over there. It feels correct, you know? Hmm. Hmm. We want to make this as inline as possible. So what do we need? What do we need? We need a tank of water somewhere that we can fill up um, and that we can take more water out. If we place it maybe down here somewhere... Uh, then we would have to bring the water back all the way and back over here. That's not really that much of an issue. We might want to put some pumps in there as well to help the water flow a bit more. Because, uh, yeah, the, the pipe over there is pretty, pretty long. So we might want to put some active pumps in there. Um, and the more I think about it, the more it, it kind of makes sense for me just to try to fudge in the water tank right over here. The more I look at it, the more it makes sense for me. But... Yeah, I think I can pull it off. Maybe if we place it over here like that. So, what's my thinking over here? Um, first and foremost... Oh, stop the bot, please. Oh, perfect. We can place you over there. Um, then you're going to get a pump like this. This is just to, to keep the pressure up in the water over here coming out of the tank then we got you over here at least you can <laughs> go under this without an issue um you fill this thing back up over here and we do the same thing over here for you mm. two ways of doing this i'm kind of thinking of maybe putting you over there and then giving you something like this over there and then you go like this perfect and then you go under all the way over there. Under over here. There we go. So that we have both of these going into this tank over here. And now we need to fill up this thing somehow. Hmm. What we could do is do something like this. We do need the pump. And then a main refill line. And this could actually work. Okay, bots. 
do my bidding. It's a little bit more complicated to set up, but this should be fine. So what does this pump over here do? Let's, let's first of all get ourselves uh, the tank. We, we've got the tanks over at um, the base station. Also, we still got air for another four hours. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to be in space for a while. Yeah, we got some of those tanks in here somewhere. Where are they? Mm, there they are. Found them. Uh, do we need anything else? We need all the pumps. I think we got everything else we need. We can also put this back into our pockets. Perfect. Good. And then back to space we go. And this then over here. Good. So yeah, we're going to have a train station, I think, just right over here. We're going to have a train station. That train station will be bringing in water ice that we will be then turning into water by means of this lovely machine. I'm just going to put it over here real quick. This one over here can make water out of water ice. Four water ice makes 400 water. So that's going to be good. Um, then the, the water pipe will go in over here. Over here, we will have... Uh, let's just do this real quick. This is a really, really nice trick if you need some wire on the quick. Uh, there we go. Um, this one over here will check the contents of the tank. If the contents of the tank is like less than 5,000. That's where we go. 10,000. If we have less than 10,000 water in the tank, this valve will open up and will start filling up the tank. Uh, in the meantime, the water that's in here goes into these heat exchangers, where it will be turned into steam. Uh, that steam then goes... Here we go. Uh, into these tanks over here. Uh, from these tanks, it will then go into the turbines over here, where it will be turned into power and water. The water will trickle back over here into this tank, uh, and then will be pumped back into the system, so that will be recycling itself, and it does use up water. So um, I think for every 100 steam we make, we get 99 uh, water back, so we do lose water over time, but with this, we have a cycle system in place good so two things we need to do step number one uh is extend the platform up here a little bit uh and we're just going to do that like this just give me the tiles there we go create i actually just wanted the tiles but now we got also all the other stuff in there that's fine We're just going to extend. Perfect. And we extend this so that we can start thinking about... We should maybe also do this side over here. There we go. Good, 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 good. That is perfect. Then we're going to take the whole wing, starting from over... Actually, starting from all the way over here. The whole wing. There we go. Um, Let's wait for these bots to come in. Good, good, good. Let's fly down there real quick. Also, I love the new sprite or um, uh, look of the, the jetpack mod. Uh, let me just get these pumps out real quick. There we go. And these out real quick. Uh, we're going to redo power at the end. So let's do this one more time. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> All the way over there, please. And then just take this whole thing with the initial power plants. There we go. Create this blueprint. And then we should be able to... Ah! Did we move one of those tanks? We did move one of those tanks. Okay. Uh, we moved this one over there. Which also means we need to... Let's just also remove these. There we go. Let's try it one more time. So we need to align it over there. There we go. And we need to align it over there. Steel pump is in the way. Which steel pump is in the way? Oh, I see what happened over here. There we go. And this is going to be a nuclear power plant. <laughs> this looks bloody amazing, I have to say. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to seeing this thing in action. Um, good. So, we need a little bit more of infrastructure to make this thing work. 
Um, what we need is the water input. What we need is some uranium refining. We are going to do the Kovarex process in space. Now, we did bring some nuclear fuel with us, which will be good for a while, so that we can just keep running on that nuclear fuel. Uh, but we are going to do Kovarex in space. And I just remembered something. If we do Kovarex in space, it also means we need to do uranium mining in space. And uranium mining requires sulfuric acid. Um, that's probably where the methane ace ice comes in over here. Let's have a look at that real quick. So we do have uh, methane ice over there. And we can crack that stuff up into nothing, uh, into methane gas. We can then turn the methane gas into crude oil over here. If we combine it up with some bio sludge. Oh, shit. Bio sludge, really? Or we can turn it into nutrient gel. Bio sludge, what's the easiest way to make bio sludge? Um, that's biomass, stuff like that. Okay. Ha. Hmm. We might just be supplying this place for now with nuclear fuel coming from back home. Um, but that should be fine. I mean, we do want to supply rocket over here. We do want uh, a transport rocket going back and forth either way. Um, so that should be fine as well. Good. What we do need over here is this thing and that thing as well as you. And you, and then also this final piece and that final piece. Good. One more thing we need to do before we can call it. We do need to think about placing uh, power in a correct space. We can place this one over there. We can place this one over there. That covers a lot of it. And then we need to be able to get over here. Actually, do that over there. And do that over there. And that looks fine. The only thing that's not getting power right now is this thing over here. Uh, you are also missing an underground over there. There we go. Good. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit... Yeah, place that one over there. And that one over there. Good. Now we got all of them. <laughs> Perfect. And that's the nuclear power plant completely placed... Uh, we are going to be supplying this with bots, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we just do a stupid belt. Now, we do need some bots over here. We do need to supply this with some uranium fuel coming from somewhere. And I think the bots flying around in this place without um, much protection will be fine. I mean, they only fly over there every now and then to bring us um, a nuclear fuel. And I just want to get some heat pipe to actually finish up the nuclear power plant in space. So the next time around, we can focus on the infrastructure. So give me the heat pipe. There we go. We brought, I think, way too many heat pipe. Uh, but that is fine. This new jetpack thingy looks so nice. There we go. I was already complaining about it a little bit. Like, the first time I had, like, the jetpack suit, I was like, wait. How am I flying around like this? I want to see some nice, nice, nice sprites. And here they are. The nice, nice sprites. Good. Good, 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 good. And that's the nuclear power plant complete. Perfect. So that concludes our nuclear space power adventure. Uh, next time, uh, we're going to hook it up to water. And next time, actually, next time, we're only going to hook it up to water. And then we're going to fire it off and hook it into the power system over here. We do need to also somehow connect it up to the main line over here. But that's a thing we are going to be doing later. So if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this YouTube channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash worldviking, where I do even more Factorio, Day of Billions, GTFO, uh, and RimWorld. Um, and hope to see you there soon. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around!